Ready to go. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. Uh, interesting show today because I want to talk about the the, the story of the moment. Um, the most recent video that has had clearly the most uh, views on my YouTube channel has been Devin Larratt and his visit to Australia, particularly his after pool with Danny Tesh, um, his seminar video, his training video. A lot of people talking about Devin Larratt, a lot of people viewing those. And as always, there is a bunch of people who are very much in the camp of support of Devin Larratt. And there are a bunch of people who are very much in the camp of not supporting Devin Larratt. Now, I wanted to give you my perspective on this because a lot of people have asked for clarification uh, and a lot of people want to know the truth. So this video, as you can see, titled The Truth About Devin Larratt. Now, of course, according to me, I will give it my best and most accurate, honest appraisal um, of where I see Devin Larratt in relation to these issues and give you some insights into some of the things that uh, Devin Larratt told me during his time here in Australia. So first and foremost, the video that has got the most attention is without a doubt, the after pull video with Danny Tesh. Now, Danny Tesh in this video beats Devin Larratt. Now, it, what does that mean? Is it a training pull only? Is, is Devin Larratt trolling? Is Devin Larratt trying as hard as he can? What is going on? Here is the answer. Now, the background story to that, that pulling match, okay? It was Saturday afternoon, late Saturday afternoon, which was the first day of competition, the second day of the actual Arnold's Classic being uh, actually on because it was on the Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, Devin Larratt, of course, arrived at the Arnold's Classic on the Friday. Uh, he had two super matches on Saturday to wait for, so he didn't go crazy but he did pull on friday he pulled many people many low level arm wrestlers uh he casually grouped up with he didn't do anything serious on the friday danny tesh of course rested on the friday as he was competing on the saturday saturday comes devon Lowe is doing the same thing again he's casually pulling um he's not going crazy but he's gripping up with pretty much anyone that wants to but keep in mind that none of the serious pullers were gripping up with devon yet because they were all waiting for the competition so Devin Larratt was pulling, but he was pulling novice level and just random people that would turn up from the crowd. Danny Tesh competed in the 95 kilos class and he won it. He won it in convincing form. Um, he was the favorite and he didn't let any of us down in that regard. Okay. After the competition had finished, um, there was about an hour and a half time where um, people kind of took a break, went for a walk, got some lunch, all that sort of stuff. Um, Devin came back and he was pulling hard. He was pulling hard against myself, um, particularly on the right arm against Mario Tembarkas. Um, he pulled him both right and left. Um, and then Danny Tesh walked in. So Devin had pulled a couple of people, myself included, uh, and Mario Tembarkas notably prior to Danny stepping up. Now Danny had had a couple of hours off. Devin had just pulled myself and Mario, but prior to that, it had a couple of hours rest as well. Um, but the thing is, guys, it doesn't matter. Look, take it for what it is. Now, here, let me explain for you the what it is when it comes to Devin Larratt. Um, I would never in a million years on the current form of Danny Tesh and Devin Larratt actually put money on Devin Larratt to lose to, to Danny Tesh. It's not going to happen. Trust me, Devin is way, way too strong. He is a big human. You know, on some of the angles, Devin looks like he's losing size, like he's not that strong. But Devin stepped on the scales at 115 kilos that day. I witnessed it myself. I watched him do it. And he's lean as anything. He's as lean as anything. He has extraordinarily specific strength to the sport of arm wrestling. His he's forearms, hands, biceps are amazingly prepared. And when you see him in the flesh, he's very, very different to what he appears in many of the pictures or videos that come about. Anyway, so Devin Larratt and Danny Tesh, they pull... They, Devin, this is what Devin does. And I asked Devin specifically about that. I asked him why uh, he trains the way he does. I, he lets opponents be in their groove. He arm wrestles when he trains with his training partner in the strongest groove they can be. Now, in that groove, Danny Tesh was legitimately in those circumstances under those times able to pin him. Okay, now that, again, guys, that's not me saying Danny Tesh can beat Devin Larratt. That's saying when Devin doesn't make any attempt to fight in his groove and instead just allows himself to fight in Danny Tesh's groove, under those circumstances of the day, 
Devin was unable to pull through Danny Tesh's strongest angles. There we go. That's basically it, guys. And that's pretty much where we need to leave it when it comes to Devin Larratt and Danny Tesh. Is Devin Larratt too strong for Danny? Yes. If it was a ready go, Devin Larratt could deny access, uh, deny the complete access of Danny Tesh's power. Um, much like I can take Danny Tesh's wrist, I'm sure Devin could as well. And Devin has far superior back pressure and side pressure and hand control than I've got. He would be able to finish Danny Tesh. I. 100% don't doubt it. But it's still an amazing achievement that Danny Tesh, when allowed to be given his groove, Devin couldn't pull through. So far, out of everyone I saw on the trip, he was the first and really the only person to be able to do that. And, and Devin very much acknowledged that of Danny Tesh. So that, my friends, is the truth regarding the, the Devin Larratt, Danny Tesh pull. All the other after pulls, um, Devin treated it as a training camp. I can tell you of, of his super matches with Lachlan and Ryan, um, Devin, Devin wasn't preparing for those matches like he had to pick. He just kept on training. They were just part of his training. He is an entertainer. First and foremost, he is an amazing ambassador for the sport and entertainer for the sport. And it's because of those factors that, that he has this willingness to, to allow people to arm wrestle in his group. He absolutely destroyed Ryan Scott. Of course, um, Ryan's style is one where he either has a very dominant hand and wrist and wins quickly or he loses hand control and loses a lot of his access to power and Devin of course took away all of Ryan's access to power. Lachlan Adair on the other hand he can arm wrestle in a lot of positions and and Devin again allowed Lachlan to to be in a position where he could be as strong as he possibly could be and Lachlan when in that position gave it a red hot go it was fantastic to see it but again, Devin Larratt, far too much back pressure, far too much pronation, far too much cup, far too much of essentially all the foundations and fundamentals of the sport. And and he made Lachlan Adair look very, very comfortable. End of the day, Devin Larratt has a big match coming up with Todd Hutchins. He used the Australian trip as a training camp, as just to get time on the table, to feel the groove of the table, and to awaken the beast that he's going to need to have to beat Todd Hutchings. Now, Todd Hutchings, of course, we're going to see a big version of him come WAL 501, which is only a couple of weeks away now. And Devin Larratt is going to be big and he's going to be strong as well. Now, prior to this, prior to meeting Devin Larratt in recent, well, I've met Devin Larratt before, but prior to seeing and catching up with Devin Larratt this time around, I had the opinion that it was going to be a very difficult match. Now, after seeing and hearing it and watching Devin, I do feel like I do feel more confident that Devin will get the job done. I hope I hope like crazy that it is a massive battle and we see it go inside. But um, I have a feeling that Devin Larratt is going to be too good. He is essentially a little bit too big, a little bit too much back pressure and hand control to be able, for Todd really to be able to wear him down. But that is, that's who knows where that goes. Either way, that's going to be an amazing match. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to wrap this one up with that because. Look, there have been so many comments regarding Devin Larratt and Danny Tesh. Uh, so I wanted to make a video to clarify it for all of you guys as to what my point of view and perspective on it was. Don't believe anything else other than what you see here. Um, does it mean Devin Larratt is over the hill? Not by any chance. Not by any chance. Does it mean Devin Larratt's not the best on the planet? Look, yeah, look, he'll acknowledge that he's not the best on the planet. There's a plank off, of course. There's some giants out there that make Devin Larratt's day very difficult. But is Devin Larratt falling away? No. Is he still legitimately in the top tier of, uh, of elites? Absolutely. Is Danny Tesh a badass arm wrestler out of Australia? Absolutely. He is. He's our best representative out of Australia. And uh, if you didn't know about Danny Tesh, like I said, he, he's the only man in the last four years to pin Paul Talbot on the left at the same weight. Uh, so at 195 pounds or 88 kilos, Danny Tesh is easily the best representative pound for pound out of Australia. He is the most dominant arm wrestler. Now, of course, I'm hunting him on the right arm in particular. I, was, it, I can taste it. It's so close. But guys, Danny Tesh is the man. So don't ever discredit Devon or Danny based on this it's an after pull guys it's exactly that after pull and um, at the end of the day you get more value Devon gets more value out of giving people their groove he can work the other person can work they can both get value there is no point in totally denying access to power and simply having it a one-sided training affair 
All right, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. Hope you are well. Stay tuned. Check out Instagram. We are going to be releasing a Dev and Larratt No Limits Special Edition Limited Release T-shirt very soon from an amazing photo from uh, his time here in Australia. So, guys, go check it out. It'll be on Instagram very, very soon. All right, guys. Take care. Bye.